What's going on heroes and villains? My name is Hydros and today we have some exciting news about My Hero Academia, the strongest hero, and also the potential side effects that it could have on My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, and those effects could be very, very good for the game, so I can't wait to see what it actually entails for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, but before we go ahead and get started on any of that, make sure you guys go down there, click that red subscribe button, because we are less than 100 subscribers away from 2K here on the channel as well, and also my goal overall is to hit 100K so we can be the best one-stop shop for my hero academia ultra impact as well as my hero academia the strongest here if you guys want to see more of that game from me as well also make sure to click that bell turn on all notifications if you haven't already so miss out on any of those videos and get those notifications so you can see it right away when i do upload those videos so here today let's go ahead and get started the news about my hero academia the strongest hero now when this game did drop it's a chinese developed game uh, it's actually developed by komoe game a uh, chinese developer and it actually is a really cool game it's actually like an uh, an open world 3d graphic game it kind of reminds me of genshin just because of the open worldness of it right uh, genshin recently released i think when this game did release as well uh, or roughly in a small time frame this game released right after that but it does remind me a lot of Genshin just because it is an open world game and it just feels very, very, I don't know. It's just, it's fun, but it's also kind of PVP focused as well. That's why I haven't done much of My Hero Academia, the strongest hero, just because I'm not able to keep up with all the summons and all that kind of stuff right on the game. But it was really fun. It is a really fun game. And I did do a video on it on my first impressions and my first look at the game and just overall it is a very very fun game again it's an open world 3d graphic type of game it's really fun and it's a different experience than my hero academia ultra impact was being a 3v3 casual turn-based game right so it's very different from my hero academia ultra impact uh, my hero academia the strongest hero is definitely a main game if that makes sense like it's a game that you need to be really really focused on and really devoted to to grind the summons and all that kind of stuff even if you're free to play you got to save for those particular banners that you want to save for right so it is a very very intense uh game if you kind of if you look at it from the outside but once you get into it, it is rather fun it is the gameplay is really fun again i really enjoyed it i do play it on occasion if you guys do want to see more of my hero academia the strongest hero let me know but before you guys enter that the news about my hero the academia the strongest hero i forgot to mention is that this game is getting a global release yes it is getting a global release my hero academia the strongest hero anime rpg is getting a global release at least on the google play store i don't know about ios i assume it is on ios let me know down in the comments down below because i can't find the ios store version of it for some reason uh just because i hate navigating apple's website it really sucks but uh let me know if it's is on, if it is on the ios store i assume it is uh so just let me know down in the comments down below if you guys did find it but it is on the google play store this is under my us based account and i'm able to pre-register you can pre-register right now on Google Play for My Hero Academia, the uh, strongest hero right now. Uh, I did get some comments in a, in the My Hero Academia Ultra Impact Discord. If you want to check out the Discord, link in the description down below. Uh, but that Discord, uh, someone did say that they couldn't see it on the front if you're uh, in the French region. So I'm not sure if... Uh, if that's a thing, if it's maybe in a North America only pre-register at the moment, that could be a thing. Uh, but it's a bit weird b regarding its global release because as you can see here regarding my hero academia the strongest hero it is a chinese developed game i said by komoe game but when you look at the global release version it's developed by sony pictures television uh, i at least according to the google play store that's what it's developed by and it's very odd why did they change why usually developers like to stay within themselves so are they out outsourcing this to Sony and to let them develop the global version. I guess that'd be very good, right? So that way, Komoe or Como, however, you can, I, if I'm mis mispronouncing, that's my bad. <laughs> but you know, if they're outsourcing it to a different developer, that could kind of relieve alleviate Komoe from having to keep up with two versions, right? So that would kind of make sense, and it would be very, very good, I think, at least having a different developer. But with different developers. There could be some uh, different differentiation between the versions, you know, stuff could be different prices on gems or, or stones or coins, whatever the currency is in my hero, I can name it the strongest hero, right? Uh, and it's, here's the games developed by Sony Pictures Television or whatever, uh, or at least the, the developer that they listed here. If you click on it, it shows these games developed by them. And the a lot of these are just, I, I don't know if I've never really played these. I don't play these at all, but do we have Zombie, Zombieland, AFK, Shark Tank Tycoon, Smurfs, Jeopardy, who wants to be a millionaire? Like, I mean, I get it, Sony, but 
to see them take over my hero academia ultra impact at least the global version of my hero academia the strongest hero i said ultra impact i meant the strongest hero my bad uh to see sony pictures television take my hero academia the strongest hero is very weird very very weird i would assume maybe I guess not Bandai, right? Bandai would be, I guess, a competitor for Komoe, uh, since it is a, a Chinese originated game. Uh, and then, you know, Bandai is in Japan and stuff like that. So I guess, you know, maybe rival developers, I, I assume, or something like that. So I, I understand why Bandai is not taking it because Bandai is already developing their own version, being My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. So obviously, Bandai wouldn't take it over. But Sony Pictures, why why them? I don't know. I, it's up in the air for me. Uh, the only way to play My Hero Academia, the strongest hero, the Chinese version, was to download it through Kuap or Tap um, or have a Japanese Google Play or a Japanese or a Chinese, maybe. I think it's Chinese iOS account, uh, I believe. Uh, and then you could download it on Android through Kuap. Uh, since Kuap has literally every game in the world that's <laughs> in there, right? So it's really easy to get it on Kuap for Android. Uh, but yeah, so you could get it on here, but there is now a global version for My Hero Academia, the strongest hero, and that's going to be really cool. At least it'll be in English so I can actually read it. Uh, so that's the only reason I kind of did not play it more on my channel is because it, you know, I couldn't read it, right? A Japanese game I can kind of because I can help have people tr help me translate like Arash and stuff like that. But like the Chinese game, I just, you know, I just didn't want to play it too much because I eventually thought maybe Strongest Hero could see a global version and we are now seeing a global version. So that is why I didn't heavily devote myself to the, uh, the to the Chinese version because, you know, on the off chance that one was developed, I eventually maybe wanted to do Strongest Hero in English at least. That way I know what I'm doing and, you know, can do videos on that version instead. So... Now we have it officially confirmed on the Google Play Store. My Hero Academia Ultra Impact is coming uh, to global version, at least according to, you know, at least uh, at least according to this, at least North America is getting it. Let me know if it's available in your country down in the comments down below. Uh, I can confirm North America is at least getting it, but just to be sure, let me know if you guys are in other countries and actually can pre-register for My Hero Academia, the strongest hero on your Google Play stores, and also your iOS. If it is on iOS, let me know down in the comments down below. If it is, if it is on your, you know, english or french or whatever ios account right so let me know that down in the comments down below but what does this mean for my hero academia ultra impact because it is a very good thing to see my hero academia the strongest hero being released on global could be putting pressure on bandai to be like okay they put out their global version they're putting out a global version let's let our Japanese release go for a little bit and then probably release our global version for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. That, because this kind of game, especially because it's not Bandai's game, and it, this game is kind of a competitor for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, definitely, definitely could get them the get the ball rolling for Bandai to say, let's get a global version for My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. It seems with the strongest hero, if that is very popular, especially in the West for, you know, you know, America and stuff like that, uh, South America, Europe and all that kind of stuff. If it is popular for those regions, then Bandai is going to be like, mm, My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. My people love My Hero Academia in the other regions. Let's set out and put our version on those on those stores. Let's get it out. Let's do it. Let's translate it. Let's get it out because people outside of Japan really want to play this game or at least want to play stuff related to My Hero Academia Ultra Impact. So the, the previous games for My Hero, which being Smash Tap that evolved into Smash Rising, they didn't necessarily have a competitor like the strongest hero for Ultra Impact does. Uh, because it was the only My Hero game that really existed. It was the only My Hero Gachi game that really existed that was developed by Bandai uh, and stuff like that. So it it didn't really have a competitor to maybe have its to give it the push that it needed to get a global version. Uh, but then eventually, you know, My Hero, Acad uh, no, My Hero, Sma My Hero Academia, uh, Smash Tap slash Smash Rising did shut down, uh, and now that was developed by Bandai. Now Bandai is developing this new one, Ultra Impact. And now the strongest hero is out and that could be again it's push to push it out into the global market so a very very good thing for my hero academia ultra impact for the strongest hero getting a global release i think that's a fantastic thing uh even just my hero academia the strongest hero just that game alone getting a global version is very very good and you know 
props to Komoe, uh, the developers, for getting Sony Pictures involved to help develop the uh, the global version because that's a very very huge step to get a My Hero game in the global in the global uh, realm, right? Because I know everybody that can't read Chinese really wants a game that they can play and read, and uh, this game being globally introduced does give us that and then also opens the door for my hero academia ultra impact to get its push and get bandai to push out of global version for that so that's going to be really good and really fun again if you want to check out my first video on my hero academia the strongest hero let me know down in the comments down below if you guys want to see more if you guys want to check out my first video link to that in the description down below when the global release does happen we don't know of the exact release date yet we don't know when this game is going to be released there's no release date on the app store anywhere of when it's going to be specifically released on global it just has the pre-register so you're able to pre-register now but with that, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions on My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, maybe getting a global version, and also what you guys think of My Hero Academia, the strongest hero, finally getting its official global version as well. And also, what do you think about Sony Pictures developing it? I don't know. It's kind of weird, but hopefully they do the game justice and do it right, right? So that's, that's only my hope right there. So let me know your thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.